What's up, future respiratory therapists? In this video, I'm going to be answering a comment that I got uh, that basically was asking, isn't this a mixed acidosis? And the answer is, is it's not. Let's dive in. All right, so as I said in this video, we're going to be answering a question. Before we do that, don't forget to check out the Respiratory Coach Academy. It is going to be linked for you down in the video description below. Go check it out. You need help with your TMC, your CSE, I got boot camps for you. You need help with pharmacology, ABGs, anatomy, and all the formulas that we deal with, I got courses for you. And I also have the free resources course. Go check that out right there. Um, all there for you to access in the video description below. Check out that link. Here's the question I got. If a patient has a pH of 7.30 with decreased bicarb and CO2, wouldn't it be a mixed acidosis? Now, before we go any further into this, I want to point out some key components to this question because the first one is, is that we have a decreased pH, 7.30 with a decreased bicarb and the most important word here and co2 see it doesn't work like this so what i'm going to do for you is give you an illustration of what this might would look like <clears throat> so again we have an acidotic ph we have a decreased arterial co2 we have a decreased bicarb both of these are decreased and we have and acidosis. Now, if you want to pause this video and you want to figure this out for yourself, that's what I would do. But uh, I'm going to keep going here and keep talking about it so we can help it make sense. Now, so to interpret this blood gas, it takes a basic understanding of arterial blood gases. And what we have to realize is that bicarb or bicarbonate pulls pH with it. So if bicarb goes down, then pH goes down. If bicarb goes up, then pH goes up. That's the way it works. But that's not how carbon dioxide works. That's not how CO2 works. You see, when we're talking about CO2, we realize that CO2 pushes pH in the other direction. Bicarb pulls it with it. CO2 pushes it away from it. So when CO2 goes down, pH goes up. When CO2 goes up, pH goes down. So that, there, there's the answer right there. So when both of these are decreased, both bicarbonate and carbon dioxide are both decreased, then they can't, it's not going to be a mixed problem because one's causing the problem and the other is trying to compensate for the problem. And that's what's happening right here. Now you ask yourself, okay, well, but how do we know which one's causing the problem? Well, ask yourself, where's the pH? Right now, the pH is down here on the acidotic side. So it is acidotic. Now, which of these two would cause your pH to pull downward? If the CO2 was the problem, wouldn't our pH be elevated because it's pushing it up as CO2 goes down? And the answer is yes. So we realize that the problem here is the decrease in our bicarbonate. What has happened here is our bicarbonate has pulled the pH down with it as it has dropped, as it has decreased. And then the pulmonary system said, oh, hold up. We, we got a job to do here. We're just not going to let you put our body into a state of acidosis. We are going to compensate for it or at least attempt to compensate for it. And to do that, we are going to breathe faster and deeper. We're going to increase our minute ventilation to reduce our arterial CO2 to help what? Bring the pH back up. And so the bicarb drug it down, the decreased pH is trying to push, push it back up, but we haven't quite got to normal yet, right? So what we realize is that this blood gas interprets as a partially compensated metabolic acidosis. 
It's a metabolic acidosis because we're acidotic here. The bicarb is the problem. And it's partially compensated because CO2 has decreased, but we haven't gotten to a state of full compensation. You see, if we were at 735, then we would be fully compensated. But as it stands right now, we are in a partially compensated state. Sometimes you hear people refer to this as just a compensating state. It's like we're compensating, but we haven't achieved full compensation. So that's what, that's, that's why, that's how this blood gas interprets. Partially compensated metabolic acidosis. This is actually a common blood gas you'll see associated with DKA, also known as diabetic ketoacidosis. So you may see something like this with those patients. Now, if we look at the alternative, because the question was, isn't that a mixed acidosis? And we know now that the answer is no, it's not a mixed acidosis. But what would a mixed acidosis look like? Well, think about it. Your pH is going to be acidotic. That's what we got right here. Decreased pH, 7.10, it is acidotic. We have an elevated CO2. What happens when, when CO2 or carbon dioxide increases? It pushes the pH down. Is that what's happening? Yes. Perfect. We also see we have a decreased bicarb. So our decrease in our bicarbonate is also pulling our pH down. So now we have an acidotic state that is being caused by both components, both the pulmonary system and the metabolic system being CO2 and bicarb. That's what a mixed acidosis would look like. Now, I want to put these side by side for you because I want you to see them side by side. This is what the one in question was. This is a true mixed acidosis. See the difference? The difference is that we, put, we have a decreased bicarb in both of these, decreased and decreased. But here we see an elevated CO2, and that is even causing even worse acidosis up here. But here, the bicarb has pulled the pH down, but the decreased CO2 is trying to push it back up, just hasn't got there fully. So we're still trying to fix that metabolic problem. Uh, look, stop right there. See, don't, don't let me say stuff like that. The CO2 doesn't fix the metabolic problem. It is strictly trying to compensate for the metabolic disturbance. It's just saying, hey, I'm just, I can't fix this. I'm just going to try to keep you alive until somebody can fix this. Because this is the problem. I'm just here trying to help. That's the difference between a partially compensated me metabolic acidosis and, a, and an actual mixed acidosis. So, hey, I'm Respiratory Coach. Right here on YouTube, you're already here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment. I've already said in the previous video, if you can help us get to 100,000 subscribers, by the end of 2024, I mean the last day of December 2024, then I have a huge announcement that I'm going to make in January of 2025. But we got to get to 100,000. We're not that far away. We're at 75,000 now. Help us get there. Let's go. Build this community up. It's the greatest community, respiratory therapy related, on all of YouTube. I promise you. Respiratory Coach at Instagram. Respiratory Coach on TikTok. Joe Lewis on LinkedIn, send me an email, respiratorycoach at gmail.com. I want to hear from you. All you got to do, leave me a comment, send me an email, tell me what you want to talk about. Hey, remember at the end of the day, average is easy. Don't be it.